All right, microphone check, one, two, skip the bullshit. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 40. Woo-woo! Uh, old ass Okay. Bitch. And congratulations to the team for 10,000 listeners. Yeah! Just under a year, 10,000 listeners. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's major. We've been going strong. Um, strong. Yeah. The gang is in the building. Hilla Bay is here. You already know. Miss Greenaway is here. Cheers. Alexander mm-hmm. LeBlanc is here. You know the vibe. Uh, Joseph D. Friend is in the building. Lante Basegard is in the building. Ba- Pink Celebrity is in the building. Wyman P. Pro- Wyman J. Productions is in get the it, building. Get it together. Gio the Leo right? is in the building. <laughs> Your hosting is lacking. I know, I know. I haven't hosted in so long. I know you're rusty. Get yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Only and Christopher Cheatham is in the building. Responses. I know. He hate when I keep saying his name, but when it's a certain level to it, like when you get saying when you get to a certain level, it's your whole name. You just gotta put respect on it. Cheatham, you get what I'm saying? He don't understand later. 50 Cent is Curtis Jackson now. He don't go by 50 no more. He's Curtis Jackson. Yes. Christopher Cheatham. He's gonna get it. Um Oh shit. Okay, episode 40, man. How was y'all week? Oh man, my week, I'll start. My week, man, I'm mad. I'm upset, y'all, because upset. I went to court and I lost and I was devastated. So, I got in there, funny. they didn't believe me. I don't even want to get into it. I'm just going to leave it at that. I want to run for the month. Um, <laughs> outside of that, you know, life is good. I'm manifesting everything that I want. There we go. I got, I'm booked and busy. Like, let's Period. get it. Let's get it. Period. Mm. Um, my week was interesting, nonetheless. Um, but it is a week filled with healing and growth. You know, we'll unpack another time. Um, but overall, everybody's you know, like, we don't want to get into it, but we we gonna give you a rundown. But that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know, and um, you know, shout out to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all I got to say. All right. I mean, I I definitely would say shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Definitely. She gets the flowers, the roses. Nah, nah flowers, I mean, yeah, nah, for sure. nah, for Everything. sure, nah, for a fact. Uh, my week was cool. I can't complain. I love Alex. It was, it was, <laughs> Alex was just like you know, I'm, I'm good. But, I'm, you know, I love time, Alex, bro. Every time Alex goes, he looks up in the sky. I just like he's always like, my week. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. My, you know what I'm saying? Because no drama. Every time I see a Sunday, it's a blessing. You know Amen. what I mean? So hey, I Come ain't complaining. On, Deacon Alexander <laughs> the Block. Hey, what I'm gonna say is, uh, nah, the week was definitely. And cuckoo, interesting. Cuckoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, what I will say is, um, definitely get our roses. I'm a, and I'm gonna give uh her and Alex and Wyman some more roses. I know I said this last week, but yo, we created a, a machine, and I was thinking about this, and like, you know how like when when we first started, we can do what we want. Now we really can't do what we want because like the machine run itself. If yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually some real it's shit. Like, yeah. So shout out to y'all. I just want to give y'all y'all roses. Shout out to the I mean, ain't nobody newcomers now, no more, but nah. you know, nah, we since they want it's changed like shit. Like it's a machine. Nah, um that's a fact. Alex shout out. got the face matching the Ooh. shirt. I see you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh with the, okay, he got, nah, uh, like, he got a couple. He, he got a couple buttons. Socks, button. oh, socks ma- It's the socks. The G- you got your hair. You got some good I energy. Look, you got some good look energy. Fly. I love this energy on this yeah, podcast. Your hair you, look nice. Come you on, look you got great too. Yeah, look, you. y'all yeah. all look great. Since, since we have episode forty, ten thousand listeners, right? He's not uh-huh. fifty yet. Uh, first, we're gonna start planning for the um live event. Not for sure. Um. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a movie. Um. Second, I just wanna ask y'all. Let's do something different, kind of. I'm always throwing curveball. The how articles. has the how has the the podcast been to you guys? Like, what have you seen? Oh man, you know what? Oh, I, I love let it. me let me just start. So I love Rookie, it because look. so many people now are like, "Wow, I didn't know you were smart," or "I didn't know like your personality." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a human motherfucker, yes. and I am smart, and I do have a personality." So it really did help people see me in a different light. I so I thank you guys for bringing oh, me onto this platform. We love you. But we love Jazz. This nigga sitting shit. over here like, I told you, bitch. Yeah, y'all want to That's okay. You know, At like, first of all, I say no, but y'all want to say yeah. it. Because when this goes back when Jay, and we was trying to do this in Baltimore. Remember, like, we was just trying oh, wow. to do something. Like, anything. And Jay, Jay kept saying, dog, Jazz will be an excellent co-host. Like, he's been calling it. Like, so this is a great it's addition. A visionary. Yeah, Jay, you get great. your flowers. You get your flowers, too. <laughs> I'll say for me, uh, consistency. Like, yeah. being mm-hmm. consistent. Like, yeah. I used to joke around, like, the only thing I could be consistent about is being inconsistent. And this taught consistency, resiliency, and this family. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's bigger than 
just a podcast yeah, at this point. It is. Can I get it's an amen? Family. Amen. Yeah. Can we get For an sure. amen? Amen. Yeah, and amen. I definitely want to. Um, I'm gonna give Jazz her roses too because um, she's definitely added the, the like business side to it. Not saying it was never. We always carried it as a business, but it's like. That's we gotta we think different. We gotta no, like no, we no, gotta no. think differently. Yeah, we appreciate that. Yeah, we definitely appreciate that. Jazz, don't be trying to hit nothing. I was like, y'all. I told you, I'm real professional. Jazz was like, look, I called him. I said, Jazz ain't fucking around. No, all right, because y'all ain't fucking around. Once I put my name in something, it's got to run because I know that at the end of the day, we'll regret it if we don't because you never know who's gonna watch this time. Who's going yep. to listen this time? This could be the time. Yeah. So this, it's like everyone is the one. Really, we all had. Damn, a, I mean, a word. most yeah. of us had a rough week, but when we get on here, hey, it's hey, business. It's business, and it's up. Business, and it's a good usual. time. Um, for me, I'll say like I definitely the consistency was major for me. You know, um, you know, I always been creative and doing my own thing, or just working my nine to fives, and you know, just doing my own little thing. But this really helped me to have something of my own where I'm like, yo. Like, you know what I mean? That yeah. I could promote myself. And like when I'm talking mm-hmm. to somebody, it's like, what you do? It's like, oh, I work for the government, but I also got a podcast. Or, right. you know what I'm saying? It just gives that added, you know, peace ownership. that makes it like ownership. It's yours. Like, it's, you know what I mean? So um, the consistency is major. 40 weeks is a long time, yep. y'all. Yeah, y'all been holding it's it a, down. It's a long time. Like, just even on Sundays when you don't want to do it, there's times that we get out the bed, like, I just don't. Or days you're going through shit, you just don't. But she was like, you know what? This is the baby. We growing the baby. And I seen something, um, this meme one time. It was like, bro, uh, niggas always talking about their business, but they don't want to grow the baby. <laughs> niggas got to mm. understand that you ain't a real business till your baby hit 10 years old. Real that's shit. Right. That's a fact. Real Hell, shit. You ain't a real business. Damn, I didn't even think about it like that. Though. Apple, you're not making right. what you put into it the Until, first year anyway. Hell no. It's and like Apple, Amazon, all them shits took. After ten years, they to started get, in their house. They get to get yeah. that, you know yeah. what I mean. So I just really appreciate the consistency, man, because it shows that we're really serious about the baby. The baby is growing. Um, we nurture it. We take care of it, even when it's times we don't want to be a parent. We can't abandon it. So it's just like you know, I really fuck with that. So it's definitely gave that, and it also gave me a voice. You know what I'm saying? Like I always been very open, on vocal, but you know, through trauma and things you go through in life, it kind of shuts your voice down sometimes, and yeah. you don't realize that you're actually holding you know yourself so much back in. like back and then you know it's it's really therapeutic at the same time like definitely look forward to get my shit off on here talking my shit i, my I shit. hear you you know what i'm saying so it's it's a good time i you know you gotta well, appreciate the baby i just want to say th- thank you again Shade. again thank you baby oh mm-hmm. let's get into the shit all right we said we was going first this week right yes I, I'm definitely curious to hear what the fuck they got to say. Cause, yeah, come on. But we can go first. No, we're going to spice on. it up. Let's, let's, let's start off with an appetizer. <laughs> all right, so we're talking rejection, right? And this is all rounds all of around. Yeah. relationships and being single, right? Yep. Oh, man. How do you cope with rejection, Alex? How like, do we cope with rejection as men? I don't think men take rejection yeah, I pretty say we well don't. at all. Like, it's not a co- Well, it depends. Some people, I feel like we're getting more comfortable with dealing with failure. Like, you, you know, we're seeing it as a lesson. But I feel like for a long time, like, you didn't cope. You shut down. And in regards to, like, personal life, some niggas be like, man, F that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They yeah. have that. They turn you callous. Can you can say fuck. Yeah. You said nigga. <laughs> you said nigga. I mean, okay, I say fuck. You started off with good energy. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I was just like, you, you, you done said nigga, so you I might as like... well say fuck. <laughs> right. Not F. F this. I used to say that in middle school. I don't F think this. you know. I don't think we deal deal with it well. Um, but why though? Because ego, pride. Because all right. So shit. I know we said we wasn't, but you know, like I ain't gonna lie. Um, I had to like face rejection, and like I didn't deal with it well. You know what I'm saying? Just being honest, because like even just, it's not just like somebody saying you asking for something and they saying no. But even no, it, it is that because like you. It can be something in the relationship was that like you want your view to be saw, you know what I'm saying? And that be stand like you want what you say to go. And then your partner will be like, well, no, nah, I ain't rocking with that. That's rejecting, right? So yeah. like, um, I definitely think it's something that we got to learn to do with because it, it, I think Shadi said something to me earlier. Where she was like, do you think that you, uh, um, what the fuck? Like you fuck up. You basically was like, do you think you fuck up your own? Life. Oh, I said, do you self-sabotage? Self-sabotage, yeah. right? And because I feel, mm-hmm, people and do I, it all the time. And I feel like I a am. part of... <clears throat> I'm an avid self-sabotage. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, and that's why I had, But that was a relating moment for me because I was like, I had it like... even I used to be a big sabotager, self-sabotager. Like, it's like, you can't have... 
things going good because if something goes bad, it's like nothing can go good, like or nothing goes right, or like I've been rejected now, so oh my god, it's like nothing. I can't see anything else good coming, or it can't be a good situation because I'm rejected. Or I hate I'm, to be corny, but yeah. like remember, it was like this quote. I can't remember who said it, but it's a famous quote, and it's like you know, our biggest fear is not mm-hmm. that we are inadequate; it's yeah. that we're too adequate. Yes. Nobody, and nobody yes. knows who wrote that. Real it's no, a it's real not thing. that we're adequate, but that we're um something beyond measure. That we're um yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot who. I mean, regardless, no, the, the yeah. you get the, you get the, knows. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. No that's wild. That's wild. No, I, thought, I thought they had it up they there. Had, yeah. yeah, I'll yeah. Just, I'm gonna pull it up. I mean, regardless, though, it's a thing where you know, we to believe in yourself. I feel like it's a lifelong journey. It so is rejection. Mm. Literally, is a test. For yes, that because. Even when you're sure of yourself, right? That rejection creates those insecurities. Security, Even yes. if you don't want it to, it's there, there. and it sucks yeah. because then sometimes we self sabotage for the next opportunity yeah. because we're like, all right, well, we got rejected over here, so right. I'm probably not good enough yeah. for this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah. But I'm so not, I might even, not gonna get it, and I'm not. Or even you already trying count it. yourself out. You already count yourself yes. out, so you're not even trying it with your yes. full potential. Yep. Um, the shit. author was, I mean, well, the person that wrote it was Marianne Williamson. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, so how do you cope with it? And again, I hate to be corny or whatever and cliche, but I think it's really deeper. It's deeper rooted. Like yeah. it's like you know, I was talking to Alex a lot this week, and um, shout out to real friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they will tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot. Take a lot of prayer. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of healing, a lot of like, you know what I'm saying? Therapy and stuff, shit like that. Um, I just want to give Alex his flowers real quick too. Because you know what I love about Alex? Oh. Alex knows how to, he knows what to say. At the he knows how to time. communicate. He communicates very well. Mm-hmm. And he knows how to really like, like even today, he just gave me a pound. He was like, like, just like, just to acknowledge the fact, like, you know, he acknowledges everything. Like the good, the bad, the in-between, the uncomfortableness. And he acknowledges it's that nigga so, know I'm a cancer. Like, I, I know, I know. But he acknowledges, he acknowledges like, it's like, so <laughs> gracefully. Your, your criticism is so constructive yes. that it doesn't make me feel no offended. way. Yeah, yeah, like it makes like, me, it makes me it. feel and, like, and it's, and it's a task. I want to listen to that's it. That's a skill. That's a, it's, it's a talent. It's a talent. Like you have to practice oh, and thank you, y'all. get that. So you know, shout out to Alex because he always, like you said, his criticism is so cleanly constructive. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, no, he definitely, uh, he taught me a lot, man. Yeah. And he the baby. Yeah, yeah. He the baby. I am a baby. Shout out to the baby. (laughs) That's crazy. That's crazy. Going places, kid. Yeah. I appreciate that. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I receive that. Hey, speak that over my life. I need all that energy. Real shit. So, like, I think um, in a personal life, I think it's the same in in, in professional. Like, you got to be able to control your emotions, but that's so easier to said than done. (laughs) Real shit. Because it's 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 human nature to be emotional. And and, And rejection is so instant. It you don't know how to so like because a lot of us don't know how to a lot of times stop assess and then respond. You re- respond it, because rejection is so instant. You react instant. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So it's like like you know it's like a stun or like a, a almost shock like that yeah. happened and it feels uncomfortable. Like has anyone ever gotten fired from a job and you just lose it? Hell yeah. And then you look back Shit. on it and you're like, like, all right, maybe I, I didn't, didn't have to, to do, do all that. that. Hell yeah. It's I like, didn't lose clean it. your desk and you're like, like fuck this place. Right, right. Like, like first of all, I ain't fucking, like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, and you're like, man, that. I don't even want I think, my shit. Then right, a couple weeks later, you're like, I need my shit. Right, can I, you think, <laughs> I think that I come back that I used to come back? I think with rejection, it's that question that you have to ask yourself. Like, you always ask yourself that question, like, am I good enough? Or am I not good enough in this moment? And you have to really reflect within yourself and know that your worth isn't defined by a title or position or wherever you are so you have to right. really really back really in, in and realize that like yo yeah. you are defined you are who you are yeah. you know what i'm saying your purpose was already placed before you even stepped into this earth right so but tapping into that in the heat of the moment is hard. Hard. So it you know what hard you know what i had to do because i am a person who reacts off of emotions so I, it's like scorpio i'm very thing. sensitive yes scorpio thing. like i'm tough but i'm sensitive, sensitive. especially yep. when i am in, when my mind is set on something yeah so for me rejection started becoming depressing Mm -hmm. and so i had to literally tell myself and i said even if i'm bullshitting myself i'm just going to let myself know like i don't even say i don't even really believe in rejection anymore for me it's redirection it's like all right talk about this is not for me so obviously i'm supposed to be somewhere else Else. and if Mm -hmm. i know my god the way i know him wherever i'm supposed to be is better yes so i gotta just chill it's their loss or it's just not for me. It right. might not even be their loss. It just it's wasn't a fit for exactly. me. Exactly. Once I can understand that, I yes. take it less personally. Yes. And I'm like, yes. all right, so 
it's not me. It's nothing yes. wrong with me. And sometimes it's like you said, redirection, but it's also like God's protection. Because yep. there's sometimes we think there's things we think preaching we need. Preaching a day. What's yeah. up? Where are you preaching? Yeah. Oh, on a Sunday. Like, that, not real. Because like some day, sometimes we think we really want something, whether it's a job, it's a person, it's whatever. You think you really want it. And God's like, no. It's not for you. It's not for you. And it doesn't like, you don't mean need that it, and it, it doesn't, you're wrong for yeah, that. Yeah, it's just, it's not. You're not good enough. Yes. That's, it's the, you know yes. what it is? As humans, we place like value on people and it's like and we things. think and things so it's like all right well if i don't have this i'm not good enough or right. if i'm not in this position that i'm not, I'm good, not good enough, enough. but no maybe we, that's just not for you yeah. and if you didn't get rejected from that you, you wouldn't, wouldn't realize be, what you needed and you won't be where you need to be like even when i originally got fired from my nine to five i was i, was I remember heated. that time they had to bring the police in there to escort me out because i was like what the fuck what the fuck yeah but that was and, probably a setup for it was, it was it right was because after no it, it really was, was. no because after no that, it was no, I, did, that, I didn't I even remember that social time. media yet. I remember she cried about it I was just not even cry and I was dead like, ass. and she cried I about had it just finished college mm. I had my steady job and I was gonna you know just backpack off of that until I could get into the door with the career that I thought I wanted and when I lost that job I just felt so just I was heartbroken because it's like, all right, yeah. how do I get my degree and lose a job that I had before I even got my degree? Yeah. And I didn't feel like I did anything yeah. wrong. But in hindsight, what it made me do was it made me start a blog. And from my blog, I was like, all right, I got to really start a social media. And then the social media, it just went into a different direction. Yeah. And it's like where I'm at now, this was never my plan. So it's like if I never got fired from that job and if they never, never pissed in. me off and made me feel like I was nothing, yeah, I would have never tapped felt in. that I need to prove, no, yeah. I'm somebody. Yeah. And you're going to see me Regardless. and you're going to be like, damn, that was the girl who used to the work, work our best. Yeah. But guess what? I will never work, work a desk, desk. now. Yep. So now what? Talk about you, it. You know what Talk else? about it. I think rejection, like, you know, because um, y'all made a lot of good points. Some I ain't really agree with. I mean, I agree with it, but sometimes I don't want to agree with it. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is like, you know, like sometimes we be ignoring the signs. Um, and I'm a firm believer in like just pushing through. Mm -hmm. You know what else rejection help, um, not helps you do, but you know what it does, like self-sabotage? It, it makes you push things away that like shouldn't be pushed away. It can blur your vision sometimes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah, now you're you don't know scared. How, yeah, okay. you don't know how to handle the rejection, yeah. right? So it's like, so because you don't know how to handle the rejection, you don't know how to deal with the emotions yeah. on the inside. Sometimes it's like, you don't even try. Right. Yeah. It's like you you, you pull you back, back instead of pushing yeah. forward, right? And um, <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Like, I think that's definitely what it do. So, that's the sound definitely do what it do. do. <laughs> that was a Baltimore shit for real. But nah, nah. And, and I wanted to give an example, like as far <clears> as pushing through and like rejection, like a bigger purpose. I mean, some people feel whatever type of way with Oprah, um, but her career got kicked off because she got fired from Baltimore. Absolutely. Yeah, Baltimore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, she like, didn't get fired. I don't think. No, no she so got she basically, fired. She got fired she because she wanted to negotiate her, yeah, she her wanted, salary. Yeah. She wanted more, and they were like, "No, no." Yeah, so but I thought she just walked away. I thought nah, she, they fired. They fired her because she wouldn't negotiate, and then mm -hmm. they gave the job to, to somebody else. To somebody else, and it's just like because of that. Yeah, she's Oprah she's now. You yeah. know what? I always laugh because even if you want to talk about it from a relationship aspect. I always see this meme and it's a picture of Beyonce in her prom date. Yes. And, What's yes. Name? Chase or something? and it Good says, like that. this guy is somewhere right now sitting Saying, at someone's bar to... telling the bartender that he used to date Beyonce. And, and, the, and, like, yeah, well, and the bartender is telling him that's enough for tonight. Enough. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, Relax. It's, it's crazy that you said that, right? And it's going to be like off topic for a second. Remember, um, I don't know if y'all seen it, but, uh, it was everybody that like created um whoever created Amazon, uh Apple, Bezos, Bezos, yeah. Steve Jobs. So it was like Jobs. three of them. Like I got I created Apple, I created Amazon, and then like uh Beyonce. Oh yeah, her mom. And the bottom it's like, like this I made Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and I said she has a point because I mean, she made a she billion does. dollar kid. Okay, <laughs> okay. So nah, that's a fact. Um, yeah, and you know it's crazy about rejection too. Like I said, like some hold up, and we can't forget. Remember Destiny's Child lost on. The it was like an Apollo type of show, mm -hmm. and they lost. Yep. Imagine oh, that! Yeah. Imagine, Imagine fucking that. that! You didn't find that talent. Shame on you. Okay. So sometimes also it's not even <clears throat> you. You don't even know if yeah. the person who is in position deserves to be, be there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a word yes. right there. Yes. Because we go the. That's you so know, it's like you don't bro. even know Look what you're looking at. You don't even know what you're looking even at. Even I heard like Nelly, and I think he's like the he's one of the highest selling. Um, 
rappers ever like as far as his album sales he got rejected seven times before he got a deal shit kathy hughes early one like i was saying on the yeah, phone, yeah. 33 different banks she went to to get along yeah. and no 33 times she heard no and on the last time literally, literally. she got that and one she, yes and what if she would have gave up on that last time right. she could have gave up by 12 she 13 gave up 14 hughes. like yeah but you know and that's just the thing <coughs> excuse me hookah come on boom <coughs> That's enough. So, Car- Car- so, Karuka. It's Karuka. It's giving Car- Karuka. So, <laughs> so, and, but like, as well as rejection, like you said, like if she would have gave up at 12, 13 times, just of out of coping with rejection of, you know, damn, I got, maybe I should try something else. Maybe that's not for me. Like, you also got to know. No, you, if you, you really gotta know, know, then you're going to get there. You got to feel it in yourself. Like, yep. you got to really feel it, who you are, what you want to do. How you want to do it because if you can feel it and you have the faith in it, you can't be rejected. You're never rejected. Just like no directed. Nose is just a no. Like, and I think that people My gotta mother understand used to say that, that like, all the time. She used no, to be like, the worst all they can, can do is say no. no. My mom used to say that say the same thing. All the worst they can do is say no. Remember, yeah. you miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't, you don't shoot. Take. I remember there was a Kobe quote and it was like Darren Williams had gone like oh for eight. And then they asked Kobe like what would you have done? Like, how would you feel about that? And he was like, I would the, take only, one on- <laughs> the only, he was like, the only, the only um thing I would have done was go take, 0 for 30. Yeah. Okay. Take, take more shots. Yeah. Take Cause I'm going to bet on myself regardless. Something got to hit. All right, man. That's enough for the uh, spiritual shit. Let's get into the fun. All right, let's Come get on. into the spice. Because All right. I wish a nigga would. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the ladies oh, segment? Lad. So speaking of rejection. We are going to get into faking it in bed. Because period. Because period what? Because <laughs> everybody done faked the orgasm, period. So, we had this conversation and you told me no. So I want I you to- I didn't s- fake it for you, I'm, but I'm not saying I haven't faked it before. Not for you. You're just lying because I'm here. You probably told Jasmine something totally different. Nah. I've never told Jasmine. She never. Jasmine, I yo, never they told are real my... friends like Siamese. Like, <laughs> no, like Siamese. No. Like you said, me nah, my, she came so quick. So no. close, you can't tell us apart. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but not, not all some real shit. So it's so funny because like, you know, like down to the nitty gritty of it, like I remember like just being not a whole woman, like, you know, just growing up and, you know, being a girl, you know, you, fu- you know, you having sex or whatever. You don't really. <laughs> I don't even believe sex is good until you're grown. Grown, you know real doing. shit, right? Okay, exactly. So I would just uh, remember a time. I'm not well. gonna say no names. I'm gonna re- remember a time that you know I just didn't. You know I liked the person and I didn't want to hurt their feelings. Like okay. you know what I mean? And it was just but like did you do it I more just, than once? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. twi- more than twice. Yes. Ah, uh, then it's just you're just a fraud. <laughs> you ain't shit. I mean, boyfriend? I got my best product. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is true. Everything happens for Everything a reason. Everything happens out of a reason. Destiny, fate. Oh my god, and it's so funny because I remember telling my friend like, "Oh, this is the worst," and she'll tell. She'll but this is your friend. boyfriend though. At that time. At the time. At that time. So he was doing it for a long time. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, not a long, long time. Cause we wasn't to... really together after that for that long. Because I thought your boyfriend. I thought you only had long term relationships. When I. I'm, y'all want me to say it's my baby father, y'all. <laughs> you that's say pretty long term. That, okay. That's pretty long term. <laughs> my okay, daughter's right. 11. Yeah, you got it, you got it. So, like, you know, you get, you don't shit, nobody that. shoot she me. You said it, but I didn't want to say it. That. You get a pass for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and on that, like, I remember just being like, oh, my God. Like, is this shit, ever, like, is it ever going to please? Like, but I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's so uh, easy to fake and like you know when they they put their head in your chest right here I'm oh like oh my god I'd be like get your sweaty fucking forehead I'm, off like, me. I'm like you, rolling you my waste eyes of like a human. I'm like uh 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 <laughs> is it and like it, no sometimes you know what kills somebody me somebody text everybody that I know they always be like let me tell you <laughs> so. they look so stressed you know, out you know, you know why you know what it men, is for me no man believes that he's terrible in bed no and that's the problem and that's why I've realized I'm you cannot lie about it you have to Ask, then you should know the if answer. If you gotta ask, you should know but the you answer. Know, you know what it is for me? There's been times where I've been faking it and I'm like, does he is he is he even hard still? Like, does he know at this point that I'm bullshitting? Because what if like he's soft and he's just seeing it? Right, right, right. <laughs> Like, bitch, I ain't even doing right. nothing. What's the dude Lying. name? Lying. That's what's like like <laughs> so what's the dude name? That's on um that was it. The dude name that was in our uh, Drake video. Oh, I think he made he made a, a oh the, the com- comedian yeah so he made a, a video I think when he was like oh no it wasn't him it wasn't him it was somebody else I think from New York 
He was like, man, I hate bitches that you fake. Like you, you hitting her, and then you stop and you touch her. She's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> real shit, right? Real I'm shit. Like, it's like, oh. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, oh you, it's not in anymore. <laughs> oh, and scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this, this bows out gracefully. So, so this is <laughs> so I, this is what this is what this podcast has turned into. One, but two, I think I was talking to my my friend and um my line brother. We were just having this conversation. I don't care. Because <laughs> I know. Cause I know they going to get theirs. Fake it with me. The fuck? So that's what I was going to ask you guys. So I know like for me, when I was younger, you know, first of all, sex for I, me, I like that if, unless there's Be emotions dramatic. in it, yeah, it's really, it's not, really nothing. It's, it's but as you get older and you start learning, you know, your, your body, body and stuff, things like that. I can control whatever you, I want. Yeah, you can have a good time. But yeah. it's like, hmm. for men, is it always the same for you guys? Like, do you, Facts. if you nut, is that same? it? So... Is is that? It's not always the same. Um, it's not. It's not. So did it get better as you guys got older, or? I say this. I I, I mean, there's times where you, you just don't nut as a man. I'm a, I feel well, like. A wait, what? It's times so, where you don't okay. nut. I mean, I'm just speaking from well, personal so experience. Like, I, I oh, agree. Where it's just like, there's nah, it's dead ass times where you don't yeah, nut. Yeah, but the sex is not bad. It's just niggas just can't get it off today. It's just you just have to understand. Never but had. like, so I I've, I've been in a long term relationship where not every time we both came but it could be on the third round or whatever but it's just like all right now we're just fucking to be fucking right but we know we're done so i was gonna say like i personally feel like there are times when i'm not faking it i just can't get off right now like i'm it's other things that and it's i was not, gonna say that. It's Maybe just, some yeah it's just mind. not making it work but <clears throat> then there's times where i'm absolutely, absolutely faking it so what i would say is to answer your question you said like is every it's not the same because like it's like it's times where like that I miss you sex or like I fucked up sex or like shit like that is like it'd or be, you piss me off. Sex. It'd be different. Piss like I know a lot. Frustration sex, huh? Frustration sex. Like that's I've, a, that's I've a, had relationships where I'm oh, like, oh, we shouldn't be having this. I'm we shouldn't talking, be doing this right now, sex. Or like shit, I'm, talking, I'm talking. I'm mm. talking. <laughs> I've had. Uh, let me let me talk to to ease up because no, we know Alex about to be. So I I feel like there's times where I can't even concentrate anymore. God damn. No, there's times we where like that times when we should there's be doing times where like because I'm like, a I'm an alpha female, so there's times where I'll be talking shit to a nigga like, look, nigga, ugh, you're getting on my fucking nerves. Like, go sit down somewhere, whatever. And then it's like a a fuck like to remind you who I am, bitch. Like, you do need this dick because you can't do that for yourself. But I feel like those times are like only good when it's a relationship. Now, yeah. if you had like a breakup with someone. Or like a falling out with someone, yeah. and then you're both upset, and you have sex. It's like it's it just icky. doesn't feel good. You it feels feel icky, icky after. Yeah. 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 So you tell me if you was in a relationship, <clears throat> and, and y'all got the beefing or some shit, and not I if mean, I'm not like that, it, but like yeah. if I say I, I like see, that's I what I'm talking about. Say I revisit visit somewhere somebody, where it ended it's over. badly, and yeah. I'm like, but we still want to get that last I'm talking fuck about out. That shit. It just don't feel right. I'm talking about when, like, let's say you're in a relationship, and like I don't know, some shit go down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all supposed to be done, and then like. Y'all mad at each other, and then y'all had sex. No, that's makeup sex. That's yeah, different. That's different. Yeah. That's, okay, so that's what I meant. That's I mean, the best so okay, break. so okay. How about this? I tried to catch <clears> Can you stay with someone who you're not getting off with? No, no. We ain't even gonna be nowhere. I, I, I'm dead ass. Like no, I knew that about myself very fast. No, okay. There's one thing about me: if the sex is whack, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, because that's kind of like nowhere. a necessity. That's like a necessity. Like if I can't, if you ain't look. Look, but no. what about the people who wait for marriage? Like, <clears throat> oh, oh my well, then that's bad. It. Like, that's all you know, nigga. That's the best you so ever had. Like, what do, you gonna Alex? do, Alex? Oh, nah, I don't experienced it before, so I don't know how like. But what if? Okay, what if this time it's like you know we are gonna wait and then, and then this it's just trash. that time on your honeymoon? To be honest, okay, can you ask me what trash pussy is because I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't got it, oh, so shit. I don't know. You know what I would what assume saying? it's dry. Is it dry? Is it just like what is it? I don't even think it's, it's the, that like I don't think it's the pussy that's trash. It's not. Really. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the the person. Like yeah, you, it's like you're not arching your back. It's like you fuck. You got this hump. It's like my nigga. Like it's like you're a log. Like, you like, like, does, like, you. does it stink? Nah, nah it ain't got nothing. Like, like, like it's the person. Like you want you want the energy <laughs> off. Like, like, just, yo, you might be talking too much. Like yo, <laughs> shut the f- yeah yo. Yeah. Hey, I I ain't gonna lie. Like I can't fuck a musty nigga. That's a turn off for me. I'd be like, even if it's good, I'm like, oh my god, I'm a vomit. Get off of me. 
Girls be full so how of do you, shit. So how do you have a conversation though? Girls okay, be full right. of shit. Like how do you have that conversation? Okay, so like, serious. yo, I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling this. I was, I used to be, I'm not gonna say I was dating this guy, but we were fucking for quite some time and the sex was great. But one day he just didn't smell right. And not on down there, but in his armpits. Now, granted, <laughs> don't oh. be doing missionary. In your yeah, I'm like, did you just like, work out or did you just play a game? Because right. did you go get, get the pits, baby? Because listen, hit him. and then you had the nerve to try to ball me up after <laughs> yeah. and like, cuddle me. I'm like, uh, and then uh, I keep smelling to make sure I'm not tripping. Right. Like, nah, nah. <laughs> you, you ain't, you ain't shower right. right. <laughs> you ain't right. Hit them pits again. Oh. <sighs> So um, how do you have the conversation? Yeah, how right. have the conversation? So how do you have the conversation? Okay, so boom, you dating somebody, whatever. They're not. The conversation is block. Right. <laughs> Period. Because I feel like, okay, so if I'm dating you, we finally have sex and it's trash, I'm probably not going to talk to you again. I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. You're going to be hitting me. I'm, oh, I'm running around. Sorry. I'm busy for the next year. No, you know what sucks? Okay, you're never going to leave has me anybody again. Ever, ever. Has anybody ever slept with someone that somebody hyped up? And then when you slept with them, you're like, I know this motherfucker. My baby ain't had people father. Going crazy over this. I'm dead ass. I'm literally like, like, I fucked yo. with one time and I was like, I know these bitches ain't fighting each other over this. Honestly, my baby father was getting, you know my baby father. He was getting yeah. bitches. I'm like, you know, we start dating. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? He a hot commodity, bitch. <laughs> I've been there. I'm like, I know these and bitches you, ain't fighting you know over niggas that crazy? is going Those are always the cockiest niggas. And you know it's what's like, crazy? So look, what the fuck are I'm you hyping? Gonna, I'm not gonna oust this man, but let's let me just tell y'all, he was he was fine as hell. Nigga was paid, you know, big time status. His baby mother was fine as shit. She was fighting with his celebrity girlfriend over him for years. He had endless bitches. When I finally got with him and we slept together, I was like, "Boy, get the fuck off of me!" And you know what's crazy? He had the nerve to text me the next morning and say, yeah, you probably need a wheelchair, don't you? <laughs> I was like, it's always I, I literally oh, feel like a virgin. Right. Like, did you even slide in? It, right, like, no. Mm-mm. And I did fake it too. Jay's face, the whole conversation <laughs> is right. just but, but my thing is, I don't, so for women, we don't have the conversation. Like, I don't even think I like, couldn't. I can't, that, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Because like, it was cool. But I'm like, I don't ever want to sleep with you again. Like, I don't care what. And nice then I know feel, you, bro. I feel bad because I feel like some people, get some people feel like here, they didn't yo. get a good opportunity to show you on the first right. go. Right, no. So, okay, so, so I okay, people so tell me that it was I need the another intimidation. Time. Right, and I was scared. Yeah, and I'm like. So, is okay, let me ask you how it is. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Is that a real thing? <laughs> oh, now y'all, like now y'all yeah, now y'all Is that a thing? If what? you're intimidated by a, by a woman, woman like, it's, like, or like, if you, like, you, like, you was really, like, for example, you get a girl, she bad as shit. Scared money don't make no money. Okay. But I'm not going to lie. The first time I, I planned to sleep. <laughs> so what you got to say? You fuck oh. a girl, she bad Hold as up. shit. I'm not going to lie. The first time that I planned to sleep with my baby father, he couldn't get hard. And I was like, oh my God, is, is it, it me? me? But I was yeah. young and I was like, damn, it's probably these grandma panties. I told my mom <laughs> like he's no more. <laughs> but I was like, nah, like what's going on? I'm like, maybe he just fucked somebody because we weren't fucking yet. And I had to, I made him wait. So I'm like, maybe he's sleeping too much with somebody else and he, he couldn't get he, it up. Yeah, he but just had sex. He was so embarrassed. At, so, right. Or two minutes <laughs> two ago. Because I could have sworn I seen a bitch hit the back door. But right. I'm like, so <laughs> I, I always wanted to know, like, what happened? So I spoke to someone else about it. And they were like, you know, honestly, sometimes men can get intimidated. When they get intimidated, they can go soft. But every other time I've ever slept with him, it's been now after that, it's like, boy, if you don't get unhard, because right. I don't want to fuck you right now. Right. Chill. So it's like, I know it couldn't have been that he was not aroused. So I'm like, I think what men is do it? have, they overthink it and they get too hyped Swept up because they want it so bad. Then when right. they get there, they- It's like, ah, I can't even do it's this. Like, it's like freezing up. Show. Why y'all sleeping? Show. Let me say, it's turned into like the, the Scorpio podcast at this point. Oh, ladies. sorry. <laughs> nah, I'm just uh, saying, we were- like, No, you're not. Y'all fine. We let y'all rock. Um, okay, so what's up? Uh, I mean, I don't, honest, so if we being honest, right? I haven't had that problem since I was like, young and i think when i did have that problem it was probably but it exists but yeah. it, so, so you were I nervous think, i don't want to say i was nervous you I were just, too excited i just think that your dick got a mind of his own you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like niggas got no, nah, that nigga be thinking for yeah his like, own, like i ain't gonna lie so like, i feel like a lot of times like you be you think you about you to get it nigga. you think you about to do it and he be like yeah all right i'm good bro like not, today. not this one like, not today. Lit, nigga. Right. what so not today. I, was, I think we should name this episode a mind of its own right. <laughs> so like i don't i like that so i don't know um i haven't had that problem since i was like 
But it's, yeah. it's it, we can acknowledge that it's real. Yeah. That's the real yeah, thing. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. yeah. wow. I always felt like, are somebody just trying so, to make me feel better? But do y'all have the conversation? So say y'all dating a girl, y'all fuck with her, and the sex isn't given. Do you have the conversation? I've, I've, I've had the conversation. Because I, I don't have the conversation. I've had the, so, Deuces, I've had the conversation. But what's um, not giving? Is it is it her pussy's dry or is it she's just not it, nah, moving right? I, <laughs> for me, the conversation was like, dead ass, like, what do you like? like? Yeah, how do you it was just like, what do you like? Like, what what gets you? And it was like, I like doing X, Y, and Z. And did that work? Yeah. So yeah. So I was going to yeah, say like mean, the one time, works. So I was going to say the one works time, a lot of times. The one time I did have that conversation, um, yeah, it, it was like, left. nah, it, oh. it just went. It, it was. You know what I'm saying because what happens is like men are like very, like egotistic mm-hmm. and like you know what I'm saying. So you tell a man you ain't really doing it right. It's like word, say less. I'm trying okay. to fix it. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't. I, I don't I think love you a can challenge. tell a woman that. No, okay. but I'm saying like, has it ever been? on the other end like the woman's not doing something right or is it no, impossible but, yeah no it, it, oh, it was I mean, it was more so in that conversation what i wanted her to do as, as i told y'all that one time yeah, okay. no he did not the, <laughs> uh-oh let now me find out my day. sis can't deep uh, throw no, this like no. nah. oh it ain't even I mean, can we not have that conversation listen like, right. you know Jay, <laughs> guys it's like, it ain't it i'm just trying no, to no, say no 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 it's fine i'm already stressing no listen i went to a 30th birthday party yesterday and they made me take the mic they wanted me to keep asking crazy questions they're like Ask if we can deep throat it. I'm like, y'all need to go home. Yeah. <laughs> y'all married folks need help. Right. This lady, this one lady, her husband, he's like, have, ask. I was like, okay, has anybody ever have a, had a threesome? He's like, ask if you had a seven sum. And I'm like, and his wife, Ma'am. his wife, but his wife was a virgin until she married him. And I said, no, she was just like, yeah, and she I was, was she yeah, and I said, well, guess what? I wanted to ease the <laughs> elephant in the room. I said, well, guess what, sis? I said, Shout out to you. You must have great pussy because if this guy is that freaked out and he married you, yeah, you, you did something nah, right. I, there you go. Fact, like, so yeah. what happened was like, <laughs> one day, you know, I was riding jazz. I was being lazy. This nigga told me, he was like, and don't Get be lazy. Me. No, he told me, like, don't be lazy on my shit. I need you to <laughs> stand, on your, stand on your toes. I was like, all right. <laughs> what? Oh, no, it's just a stretch. I know, I know. <laughs> is it a stretch? You hot? You want to unbutton? I hate talking about sex. What would you like? Why? In public. Why? It's not my thing. It's sacred. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. He always oh, acting please. like it's like it's lip. Like, it's what's that like, show? Lip service. They talk about everything. I, right. I told her today I wanted her to just be locked in the closet somewhere, but she was like, "Then your pussy know. must be a one." I know. Hats off to you. Wop 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 wop. Y'all seen the meme when they were like, "Girls be talking about wop," and they be riding around. And their tires are on the balls. <laughs> Is it wheel alignment? Something with the T. I forgot what Engine it was. light all on. Car shaking and shit. Yeah, the minute like, you go past the like, you tell them a wop. Like, yeah. The wop was really good. Take that wop to the fucking mechanic. Yeah. It's like, will, it was like, it's WAP, so it was like wheel alignment <laughs> placement. <laughs> <or something. laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that's enough of the pussy. Yeah. No, but Sex. no, but speaking of that, yeah. right? Because we're gonna segue this. Look, so I Alex is like, like, nah, 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 nah. Alex is like, God, God, hey, hey, hold on, wait. You can tell me and Alex ain't getting there because we're like, no, let's keep talking. Yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Cause you're going into the next topic, right? <laughs> like, have you ever had anyone that like like some big ass weird shit? Like yes, this. yes. And it's a turn off. And this and is I for the next topic because we're going into the next topic. But you can scroll all so, the way to the bottom, Monique, because it's all the way at the bottom. I didn't do my job. We're going to scroll back up. <laughs> <laughs> what weird shit? Um, let me think. Okay, so, you know, I'm Caribbean. I ain't going to lie. So, I'm Caribbean. Um, I ain't with too much, a lot of shit. I ain't going to hold you. Like, I like I like good sex, but I ain't really into. I, first of all, I don't like when people put my feet but, in their mouth. That's nasty to me. I don't want to kiss you after that. I know some people are in the moment. So, it doesn't feel any way to me, but weird. I'm like, right. get my foot out your mouth, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I push your feet in my mouth all the time. But, yeah, see, but, but you were into some interesting shit. I respect you, though. But everybody's, but like, everybody's you a grown ass man. Shade, Look, I, Shade <laughs> catching me like, I want you to. I'm like, what? No. What? What did what she actually say? You say no? What did I actually I don't feel like. I, for like, things that I've heard on a podcast. But that's what I'm saying. Shade can't I want you to slut me out. Like, no. See, I like that. I'm like, call me Because I'm like. Choke me up. Yeah, like, I'm aggressive. Spank me. But I, don't overly I, do it. Like, I'm your hoe. Yeah, like, like I, I think it's me. normal nice. for women to want to be your niggas like super freak. Like, like, yeah, like, fuck oh, me yo. No. Yeah. Like, I've had my, my man, my man, yeah. my man. I don't think I can do that to my woman. Especially when I'm not my woman. 
is up with that. I like, don't know. Like, why? I don't know. Why? Why? I ain't gonna lie. Like, so, I remember at the beginning. This before I told y'all, Gucci Man doesn't let Keisha K or so Sex dick. No, uh, so you know, big. when I got with Jay, so when I got with Jay, Jay was a so first of all, Jay a wild nigga. He done did a lot. He's a Q. There we go. Right. So we you're not gonna bark. Damn. All right. So, <laughs> so he hates when I do that. He hates when I do that. So he just so, let it right in here. He 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 we're it. cute now too. I know we're cute too. What the QTs. fuck? QTs. <laughs> <laughs> QTs. I can up. <laughs> so, QTs. So, <laughs> so you know, we in our beginning stages of like dating and just getting, you know, what I'm saying. So we talking about shit like. You know, he loved watching bitches like wild penetrate themselves. So like we know, he was like, I'm not about to slut you out. He was like, you know, I used to tell bitches like, take the controller, play with your pussy with the controller, whatever. So I'm like, the what? This pussy like, 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 the, <laughs> like the remote controller? He's a wild nigga. Like That's the random disgusting. ass? He you know how much you, bacteria on that shit? That's nigga? just nasty. What are you thinking about the woman at that time? You know what? I don't even <laughs> like, understand how, how women have dildos, even though I do. You know how many hands have touched that remote controller? I can't pick nothing up. Well, here's the thing. With my dildo, I only use it for clitoris. Yeah, I, that's the only stimulation I, don't I can it. do. That's I can't boring. stick nothing Jay, But Jay will I can't get, even finger Jay myself. Will that's get just in nasty. there and be like, what is that? I'm like, <laughs> I don't even right, know. Right, like, he bite his yeah. He's nasty. He likes to watch it. Like, he wants you to take, like, the Bel Air bottle and be I, like. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Alexis Sky? Was it Alexis Sky wilding with it. a cucumber? Like, he was like, Vincent, it's like, why are you so nasty? Like, no. Low-key, I'm like, you're so nasty. Like, you know what? Oh, my God. I'm like, wait a minute, Alex. What else have y'all niggas used? I'm like, wait a minute, What else have you niggas used before? I mean, that might be one of the To transition, though, I'm not going to lie. I just glanced up at the screen, and I almost cackled. We got to get into this hot yeah, topic. Yeah, no, no, as for, a real, for real. All jokes because Where we at? Can you go to the, where we at? Odell so, Beckham Jr. Stop likes what? being shitted on. Mm. That is interesting. Some crazy shit. And apparently someone tried to do it. Ooh. So break it down. That's where I draw the line. That's right. disgusting. Hey, before we get into this, right? Let's talk about this. First of all, like what like what are we doing here? Like what what is I know we got everybody got podcasts, everybody got something to say, but it's like we're still listening to these girls. Like, I don't what? understand. It's like, Why are we? You know like, what it is. You know what it is because people are infatuated with celebrities. Yeah. So as long as they name Steve drop, Jop, people are gonna watch get, because yep. it's not that they mm-hmm. care about the girls, and it's kind of com- It's comical mm-hmm. at this point. But I think it's like, all right, they said Odell Beckham's name. So now I don't even know if this is how many episodes yeah. they're in, but every time they Trey songs, I I went and listened. Yeah. And then Odell Beckham, I didn't listen, but I saw the clips yeah. because it's like. Damn, it is kind of intriguing. Like, so, wow, like so, this person wants to be shit on. That's disgusting. So break, I think break that's it down how for the people that don't know. Break it down for the people. All that right, don't so know there's a girl. I want to say her name is Selena Powell. Yeah, and right. there's the other girl, which is she was on No Jumper originally. Yes, and now so they, they on her... no, they on yeah, they, this is No Jumper Studio. Still, yeah. So they're letting them basically run. He is their it's like a hotel. For, that's for, wild for viral yeah. moments but he's but honestly lit. they're like, getting them because it's the name dropping yeah so as long as they keep in the views as so long as they matter. keep name dropping then people are gonna yeah. want to hear because yeah. i don't necessarily think they want to hear about the girl them, wearing the christian you know, she had christian doors, doors on they weren't christian dior they said christian doors. door that's what it was christian yeah, that's, door. Everybody, door. Was yeah everybody was like christian door door sandal and it didn't even say christian it was like christian 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 Dior. Dior. He's not Dior. He's a Christian Dior. Dior doors. Yo, that's not. <laughs> Kristen, Christina, so the, the, so the girl who's Dior. alleging Dior, that Dior, Dior, Odell Beckham Dior. wanted her to shit on him is the baby mother of Chief Keith. Her name is Slim Danger. So I guess you know it's up in the air. He didn't really address it, but he, he addressed was, it. But he, he didn't. Address he didn't it, all right. He didn't he deny was, it. He didn't deny it. He just it. said he. He was like, they can't. No matter what shit they throw my, they can't knock me off my pivot. No matter what shit they throw my way. <laughs> I said that kind of creeped me that, out. That, I ain't gonna lie. But then his I was teammates, like, you nasty but, nigga. But what about you love his it. teammates? You love it there. His like, teammates were dropping shit emojis <laughs> in the comments, and I'm just like, do they know something we don't? I no, honestly, when I heard it, I never, I didn't think that it was far fetched. So one time, his manager, this was years ago, his manager DM'd me or whatever and was like, yeah, Odell Beckham is going to be in D.C., woo woo, like, come out. And I didn't even. That, so boy. his manager asked you for a cup of shit. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said that his manager had hit me. Did he want one cup or two? Y'all are like two asking. girls, one cup? Y'all not about to gang up oh. on my man. Oh. I was like, y'all not with this. Hey, I'm not with 
with the shit. I'm not with the shit. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie though, I did have Odell on my fantasy, and he was playing like some shit last year. So now I know. <laughs> why. He's now we know. Why. Why. Now we know why. Why. That's season. why he, he played for the Browns. Exactly. No, That's bro. why he played for the Browns. No, it makes so much sense. No, but honestly, like, so his manager had hit me or whatever, and had invited me somewhere, whatever. But I knew another girl, and I guess the manager had sent her the exact same message. So for me, it's one of those things where it's like I can't accuse somebody of no freak out shit like that. But this is what I do believe. I'm a firm believer that men who like multiple women and things like that, like it's almost like smoking weed. You know how people some people can get high and be cool with that. And then other people need, they need something to chase more. Something else. They're like, OK, I'm trying coke now. Like I'm not high enough. It's like they get <clears throat> strung out. Right. I feel like it's the same thing sometimes, like with men and women in bed, like you get they get to a point where they feel like, OK, this isn't satisfying me anymore. Now I got to try something else. But or, that's why no, but wait, I wait, think wait, wait, no, it's, I, it's I, not far fetched to me. I, I, I think oh, gay oh, is oh, gay. Oh. I'm going to tell you I why. I do too. I think niggas is gay when you have to explore so deep because you're just not satisfied that Come you gotta on. go yeah, yeah. to the furthest extent of some stimulation, bro. You yeah, want some giving, ass, bro. It's giving no, gay. No, no, no. It's giving my ass. Is, it's and shit gay. comes out go the ass. butt. At like, what point? <laughs> you want some ass. At what point does it click in your mind, right? I'm just trying to think about the process that I want to be shitted on. Like that... There could be anything in the world. And at that point, it's like, yo, shit on me. Shit the lowest of me. the low. Well, I've heard some allegations, too, that Drake wants women to spit in a cup and fill it up before they have sex. And that's weird, what too. What the fuck? That's what I heard through the, the blogs. Bomb. I mean, yeah, it's So, what is so you sure, you sure like, Drake didn't DM you personally? In? Positive. Like, I would never put that on, on the GOAT. <laughs> but all I'm saying is I heard... It was like on Gossip of the City. I don't know if y'all have ever. No, but they're, and they're, and they're legit. And they're usually on. They're, they're usually on point. Shout out so to her. Shout out to her. She basically out. said. Fee basically was like. She didn't really say. It was like a blind item, but everybody kind of figured it was Drake. Apparently, they like whoever it was. It was an A-list celebrity. They like their girls to spit in a cup and fill it up before they can fuck them. Mm. That's so weird. what I will say is, how the fuck do I spit and fill it up? Yeah, spit in a cup and fill it up. <laughs> So what I will say I mean, is, how many? Nah, Julian, that goes to, um, <laughs> like, like, what I got to do? there all day. We're going to be there all day. All day to so, do uh, it. All, let's be honest, right? So what I will say is, um, I never went to that, that, that level. Mm -hmm. However, when a man knows that something is like, okay, or that people are willing to do it, mm -hmm. then they will see how far so, so right, so like, wait, but so wait. Shit. Nah, so what babysitting, by the way, if I'm gonna let you Tell her, bro. Yeah, tell her, bro. Drink Shout out to the gang, because y'all wasn't like this at first, but whatever. Yeah, um, we're different. We what growing. I will say is, <laughs> what, I, what I will say is, like, for example, me and Sade uh -huh. done some things, and like, at one not point- Not shit. <laughs> not, He's never peed on me. Are you spitting in He's cups? Like, no, I never I spit in know. a cup. No, we ain't talking about what he is. We we done some things and like at that point it was like I thought it was okay. Yeah. So it's like I'm kind of recruiting at this point. Like <laughs> honestly, right? So it's like I'm like shit. Oh, she with it, so we with it, so I like bet. Like who else with it? So what I will say is like once you find out that somebody's with it, it's like oh shit, I'm gonna try my hand. But see, for men, I think that's where men and women differ because yeah. like for me. I don't want my man to do certain things or it doesn't turn me on to be like, yeah, let me see you shit before I fuck you. Ugh. Like, I mean, that's weird though. We ain't talk, I mean, say but then, I, but I also have been, is, but I think we've all been in situations where we got freaky to the point where we were like, all right, that was, uh, that was kind of nasty. nasty. I think we shouldn't do that. I mean, like, okay, anymore. like, put in your butt. So does he eat Yeah, I don't like afterwards? that. Okay. Like, like, do you eat the girl? He's like, go ahead and lie. Like, I don't like anal. Nah, she don't like that shit either. Bro. I don't like no, anal. But I've done it. I've done it too, do but it. I don't like it. That it doesn't feel painful. good. It hurts. Hell, it's painful. Now, but off the hen dog, it might be different. But you know what? But I'm not going to lie. I've been. How do we get back no, to this I've been, I've been horny, though, to the point where I'm like, yeah. yeah put it in my mouth. And then I'm like, yeah, no, 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 never mind. No. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, get oh, out of here. What are you doing? Scram. Oh. Wow. No, nah, nah, I've been to the point though where I'm yeah, like in this conversation. I, I, I feel like when you're when you're on when you're on, like when you're drinking and stuff, like it just loosens you up. Yeah, and it I does. think it can get sloppy. Yeah, it gets sloppier. It gets shitty, huh? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, no, not never it's shitty. Never no, but they're not serious question. And honestly, like, that's why I don't like anal because I'm like, am I do I gotta shit, shit or is it poop or something? What's going on? And they're gonna fart. Yeah, and I'd be like scared. I'm like, just take it out because I don't want to get shit on. So ladies don't like when niggas eat that when niggas eat that. Y'all want to hear an embarrassing you know story? Well, y'all want to hear an embarrassing before. story? I'm but this it. is like I'm not adult ultra yet. embarrassing. If I tell y'all this, then <laughs> I fuck with y'all. Go ahead, <laughs> fuck with us then. All right, so <laughs> the when I was a virgin, right? <laughs> oh shit! There was this boy, and I really liked him. So we were at a party, and I didn't know how to have sex. 
so we went in the bathroom or whatever and like he wasn't getting it into <laughs> where it was supposed to go so thank god i did not lose my virginity to him because it would have meant absolutely nothing but i Wait. think it almost went in my butt but i was drinking too and i was underage and i was like i was very sober but at the same time like yeah i didn't know i had this shit when i had the liquor so i ain't gonna hold y'all this is what happened I felt like I was about to shit, but I didn't know if I did or not. So <laughs> we go back into the room. Everybody's chilling. I know this is, I, I don't even want to tell this. Nah, nah you got shot it now, nigga. Yeah, you got to Because now we're going to clear that whole Yeah, you got yeah, to clear, clear it up. Wow, she really shit it on this nigga. <laughs> like, nah, so it was like, I'm thinking you might really got wet all of a sudden. I was about to shit on myself, I think. But this is what happened. So <laughs> we go back in the room, right? And I swear, he probably don't even know this. I want this to go to the grave. But because I love y'all and I love the audience, I'm just going to keep it real. I was very young. I was probably like 15. We got back in the room and everybody's kicking it and cooling it. Hey, go hold y'all. <laughs> I saw skid marks on his t-shirt. <laughs> Die! I was like, I gotta go home, and I'm like, you shitting I don't... on this man, <laughs> literally, like, if shitting on somebody was ever a person. Oh my god! <laughs> I might be watching this, like, ooh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Try yeah. 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 after that. He in the game down now, but hey yo, we next time. It ain't gonna be Odell Beckham manager. It's gonna be him <laughs> directly. So I heard you like, get down. I heard you like leaving skin marks. I heard you get down like, like, down like, like that. Huh? <laughs> no, but honestly, it was so. It was. I was mortified. I couldn't even sleep. I was just like, oh my god, I think I should have. So let's him. get back to the question. But he though. never said anything. Because let's get back to the question though. But there were skin marks on his t-shirt. So do girls like when niggas eat ass? Okay, so I'm gonna. So the first time I got my ass ate, I did not like it. It was really. It's just like that feeling of your between your cheeks being wet. Yeah. It was just weird, and I like <laughs> it was weird. Like it was just like I I, I was stunned. <laughs> like I was like, you met a grown man. Nah, let me. You know what I mean? All I was right. stunned. Like I you know, but yet. then you know. Everybody already know what's up with me. Okay, I, so I ain't grown. Everybody I ain't know what's up with me. Like, full blown, grown. Jay full blown. eat it from the back. So it's like, so I, I don't grown. mind. I'm a baby. I don't, it's, yeah, what I don't mind. I, the like, baby? Honestly, I don't mind if like I'm getting head and somebody like sticks their finger in my butt or something or just starts to like yeah. slip down. That's cool. But like, I've only had my ass eaten full blown one time <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> we break down. Is why? he gay mm. or is this? It was so many things going through my mind. I couldn't even enjoy it. Mm. And then I also felt like, it just honestly it didn't stimulate me. So as so what's crazy is like what I've realized is just like I'm be a clean bitch. Yeah, lick me front to back. Yeah. Like and it it's like a grown thing. Like it's like, yeah, from head to toe, motherfucker. Get the whole thing. But I nah, just let me, it let, just it just got awkward for me, guys. I'm not gonna I just lie. Feel like, it wasn't that it felt bad. Yeah, I just first, it didn't no, feel my first time it was awkward as fuck. I was like, so what I will say is Yeah, I was like, why is he like, eating why is he my down ass? there? Like, like yeah, I was just like literally like earlier because no, but you know what? I had just okay. took a shower. No, no. You don't even matter about the shower. No, see, and that's what I was about to say. So here's the thing. Go ahead. So, you know, like, so honestly, what people don't know, like, even before anal and all that, you're supposed to fully, like, gay people. Wait. No, no, no. Real shit. Gay men. I know. Like, so I had a gay friend, like, and he would tell me, like, you know, little things. They really, like, douche their ass and, like, of make course. sure nothing's in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, um... Hold on, like no, because I'm gonna make y'all die laughing. This is funny. Uh, hold on, but you're really so no, you're so like no, 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 real shit, like real shit, real shit, real shit. I know, but like when you're about like when you're doing any anal movement or anything, you're really supposed to like clear your bowel movement. I can't hey, like can real make a, shit. Make hold on, really disclaimer. quickly. Let me just make y'all laugh. Disclaimer. Um, the. What is it? The, what would they say? The views the of Sade is does not a fact that you're not a real podcast. <laughs> her opinions are her own. Uh, but let me just say this. Wait, wait let this. me just say this real quick because y'all gonna laugh. So, all right, I got my ass eaten one time, but it was like a weekend thing. So I got it eaten twice. In that same but, weekend. Yeah, but the first time I got it eaten, I wasn't expecting it. So when I took a shower the next day, it wasn't that motherfucker like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm getting to every nigga okay, granny no, just, just in case he eats my ass, ass again. Now, 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 like, now let me, let me, let me break like, down why. Like, you taste that dove? <laughs> it's scented. <laughs> Alex, go I ahead. I used my special soap. <laughs> let me break down why I don't believe in that shower shit, right? Oh, shit, keyword. Uh, you've been shitting your whole life. I don't think there's enough showers in the world that's gonna be able to clean up what the fuck is yes, up the there. Fuck, your no, body, no. Your body, your body, your body, 
That, that's like saying like you keep bacteria in your dick every time you pee. Yeah. So what like I your say, body releases so, all your toxins all so the time. What I will like say as long as you're eating right and so, you drink a lot of water, it will. But um, honestly, the it. most toxins though do come out of your asshole. It just do. so y'all know. So, to, yeah. to, to so it's nasty. St- you think you get it all out? No, I'm beach? saying that's the dirtiest part of the body. <laughs> to to agree, so you gonna put my tongue in there? To agree with, I kiss my mama still. To agree with, to agree with Shade and both. To agree with both Shade and Miss Dunaway. Um, the okay. first time I had anal sex, I ain't gonna lie. Like I remember, I never forget. I remember telling my friends, I'm like, "Yo, I don't fuck with that shit." Cause you feel gay, right? Yeah. Like, like niggas, okay. Niggas, so what happened was, I ain't gonna lie. So I ain't gonna lie. So like, my my friends was clowning me because like it was cool, like it was understandable. But when I went there, they was like, "Whoa!" Like I was like, yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't like it because I liked it, and I'm like. I ain't fucking with that. Cause like, men are very sensitive. Like I know, like you know how girls is like men don't even like their there. butt being yeah. touched right. during so, sex. So yeah, listen, no listen, it's should. girls out there. It's Jay girls. Hates his butt being listen, touched. if I be like, you be like, what the fuck I, are you doing? You know, it's girls out there that like claim that they're virgins but only have anal sex. Yeah. yeah. So I encountered, and they're Caucasian. They're crazy. They're fucking cuckoo. So I, but I've encountered one of them girls that was a virgin. <laughs> in the pussy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So like the first time I ever did it, your I mouth remember season, to, your fact, ass I think season. I told Tim, my long brother, like, I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm old. I, I'm at college. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. That shit was different. <laughs> so oh, I guess this. because <laughs> I think because it's tighter, right? <laughs> it's tighter, right? And then I start, yeah. And then I, I start watching porn. I'm like, ah, it's, it's the regular. But you know what I heard though? My grown men say though, they be like, look, as long as you're doing it with a woman, you're not gay. Yeah. And Jay sneaked me. I never forget that day. Like I was just like, whoa, what the what hell? Fuck? Wrong he hole. He was like, I knew I just. <laughs> he was like, I'm I knew childish. I was gonna do it like that because I had. That's the only way it was gonna get done. <laughs> nah, honestly though, the first time I did it, it was like a slipping thing too. But I was that like stimulated that it was all right. But it was like, yeah. ow, stop. This, this whole nah, thing so is a slippery it's crazy slope. Because- <laughs> As long as it's not a shitty it's slogan. Okay. Full of shit, bro. Yeah. We just I can't believe that today. I told y'all that I made skid marks on a nigga's t shirt. I'm yeah, embarrassed. Wait, it was on his t shirt? It was you on his shirt. shirt. That's how I knew that it, something yeah. happened. Hey, hey, hey. But he didn't. But he hey, didn't. But he never penetrated here, me, though. I he never penetrated me. <laughs> hey, you know what? Y'all ain't gonna I never let this go. I know y'all are never gonna let this go. I'm but, can, but the good, I'm changing, no, he I'm never, changing your name in my phone. He never penetrated me, though. Like, he just kept trying. But somewhere along the line. But you know what was even funnier? If your y'all really want to laugh, y'all really want to laugh. 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 Skid Greenaway. Y'all really want to laugh. So we were in the bathroom, right? And I think what did it for me is because I was on the toilet. Like I was on my knees on the toilet, and I was just like, I got to shit. On I'm on the toilet. toilet. You ever have to pee so bad in the no, toilet right there, right. and you be like, huh? So I'm like, God damn, I got to no, shit, and I'm funny. on the toilet. Yeah, okay, you gotta take a piss. You see no, water. No, I ain't gonna lie. So you gotta take a lie. shit. You see the toilet. Right. You just take a shit. Nah, cause I already had the shit and I'm drunk, so I'm on the toilet. On my knees are on the toilet. And I'm like looking at the toilet and I'm like, just shit. Lord, just let it out. Just don't let me shit. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When you have sex in your butt, that shit do make you want to shit. Like, or but you really don't have to. You don't have like, to, but it feels on. like something's coming yeah, out. Yeah, like. Hey, we gotta rename this podcast something else. <laughs> the shit show. This shit is out of here. <laughs> this shit out of here. All right, let's move. Let's move on because I've already embarrassed myself enough. It's some crazy shit. It's the craziest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> Shout out wow, to Odell, though. You, you, you like what you like, though. Yeah. But if, if, in case there's any potential suitors watching, I can <laughs> control my <laughs> 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 That's the whole shit show. <laughs> That's the name. That's the name right here. A whole shit a show. Disclaimer. I said disclaimer. In case there's any potential suitors tuning in, I do know how to control my bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grown now. For now. We're not going with your mom, man. But when shit get different, I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where shit going to go. <laughs> nah, it's like just not too much in. <laughs> well, he's going to have to. No, yeah. stop. That's that, really what if you... We have to move on. Yo, moving on, bro. Yo, what's, what's where Ooh. we at? Monique. Ooh. Monique, where we at? Can you go to the... Hey, yo, now go to the... Um, Hold on, wait. Before, before, wait, before we move on, one more, because something just made me think of it when I look at the screen. Do do y'all have sex with women while they're on their periods? So that's a great question, because all the freaky shit I do, you don't I do don't that. like he that. Ref- he hates it. I don't... I will never... I ain't it. no shower. I ain't no towel. In like, so room. my daughter's father, like... I tricked him into it one time when I knew yeah, I was my parent, and he went off. But then, like, 
as we got older, he still didn't but like it. Like that though. He still well, didn't like few, it. No, he he hates it. But but then we got cool. Yeah, yeah. Jay be like, what the with. fuck is this? Yeah, shit? that's him. He's like, that's what? He, he wanted to kill me. He was like, yeah. what the fuck? And like, I was like, or like Jay will have sex with me like the day before my period come on break. They be like, oh, uh, I've seen. Like, yeah, but that's but but, I've been shot. but you know what's you know what's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Once I kind of worked, eased his him into it, yeah, like, like then we know, nah, put the towel down, yeah. you know. You, I told Jay, I said, come on, just put the towel. The fuck ass, no. He's yeah, like, niggas like, be like, nah, like, but some niggas though, they don't like it. They'll do it, and they don't even care yeah. about the towel being down you know or nothing. What? Now I tell you what's disgusting. Do it. Do it. I had someone eat me out on my period. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you know what? I know other people Podcast who over. said no. I know other people Podcast who over. say. I know other people who now say that's beyond some crazy shit. I know like other. This. I should blast this nigga, but I ain't gonna do that. Because, I know, like, but I know other people who say like iron. Like, I know other people who say <laughs> quarters, quarters, like, 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 like nickels, like, like coins, <laughs> coin star pussy, <laughs> copper pussy. No, but I know other women who've told me like that their men eat them out on their period, and yeah. I've always been disgusted by yeah. it. So yeah. it, I still would. That's hey, disgusting. So can I? You're not getting kissed after that. I got a question though. Go ahead, Alex. Are you heavy or you light though? That's the real question. So here's you the thing: you heavy or you light? What's your flow? Like? When you when you have okay, so when you have sex, like when you're later in your period, you know when you get in the shower and stuff yeah, or the pool, it yeah, stops it up. Yeah. But right, when you we, have it, when you're full blown we, on, yeah, it gets a crime. Since, since, since we talking yeah. sex, and then I hate when I'm like, is that me or is that the period blood? I said, okay, prayer, Mike, real did quick. you just Who's break my bow? Since we talking sex, right? Is that me or is that the blood? Since we talking sex, fuck me up. You're disgusting. <laughs> hey, so ladies, I've heard that. Um, why didn't y'all never? I think Sha, they actually. What? You might have told me this. What? So when y'all get y'all pussy ate, mm -hmm. y'all don't like. Y'all don't actually like being lit, licked on the click. Oh like no no side. no. No, I like the click. I like the click. Yeah. Who the fuck told you that? I don't that? like the side. No, I, I, I never think told I you that. <laughs> I ain't never tell you that. No, I ain't gonna lie. You switch different when I hit the side. Yeah, no, that's not be hitting different. Because I ain't gonna lie, but I need the whole like. But you like, might be hitting her G spot. Side to click, side to click. You gotta go in motion. It's like you might be hitting click. her G spot. I just say a disclaimer side that click, I look at Jay and Sade like click, parents, some low click. key. So when they be talking about shit like this, I just be like that. Not nah, the parents, so like, right? Not the so okay, parents. there's a such thing also as bad head. Now I don't know how that Hell is for men, yeah. but Hell for us, yeah. like oh sometimes God. I'm just like, even though you're licking me, like get up, yeah, because I don't feel it feels just so. No, that's a conversation that. Or what about? I'm sorry, this is about to throw you out of, but somebody with stank saliva. Oh, that you, no. oh my god! Oh no, I don't even you know what that's about. Disgusting. Up there, you can smell it from. You can, yo, you can feel it. Can, <laughs> it's just like you know, sticky saliva. Like it's like I can feel like your breath stinks. Or yeah. I just hate my, when my, it's like, what motion is this that you're doing? Yeah, Get up. Or like, what is that? Yeah, so, yeah, like so yeah, this it's is, like. So this is like, so this is this is a conversation that I don't mind. I hate it. So I don't mind. No, nah, honestly, don't. why don't like? So how, how are we supposed to do it? Because I, I still don't know. So you ain't never told I'm me. I'm a clit. Whoa, you me too. No, because it's, it's so. Me all right, so you. you're. Some right. women, it's like, it's some low. women, we all got one. Some women orgasm from penetration. Some yes. women orgasm from cl yes. cl clitoris yes. stimulation, and some orgasm from both. Mm -hmm. I know clitoris me, stimulation is gay. That shit is amazing. That's the best. That's, that's the only the way best. I can fully, full that's blown orgasm best. shake breaking down like a car. And that's shit. The best. Nah, I, I nah. <laughs> he's because he's obsessed he's with penetration. Yeah. That shit. Lit. But no. So what it is is like that shit different. If I'm that, shit. like, if I have to, I can't just like I can come from penetration, but a full blown orgasm for a woman is yes, different. Clip. Like it's the clip. shaking mm -hmm. out and whatever. Yeah. That's that's for me. Okay, okay, so, so I don't mind. She 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 swore. She was like she didn't. No, she swore that it was nasty. It was pee. No, so you know what? I've never, I don't Look think I've ever squirted. Yeah, but one time I've had, one time I had sex, was it right? Or was it, what was it? One time I had car sex, I ain't gonna lie. I went to, I went to a concert after and it was so just crazy. Cause like, it was like, it was just like leaking out of me. And I was yeah, like, like did my like, water break? It's like, uh, it's like a so on my birthday, we was on a boat. You was pregnant? No. <laughs> so what on my birthday, we was on a boat. And like, I mean, Monique's, Monique's childish. She was there. That shit was crazy. We went in the room. I mean, it was like splash. Like, no, it wasn't splash. I'm lying. It was like, cry me a river. Like, 
No, I know. I was literally yeah, at. Wait, you know where what I was the at? Fuck? I was there. Like, like, I was like, wait a minute. So look, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was, I was at a homecoming in North Carolina, and when I say it was packed, I was on the stage, and mm -hmm. I just started like, and I was. Well, y'all was having sex on the stage? No, we had sex in the car, and then we went oh, into. Was he had a show. It was yeah. like a big ass homecoming. It was so many people the up bass there. Hit that bitch and that shit just came out. I, no, I'm on the stage and I'm. Turn it up next to you know, I'm like, am I pissing myself or did my water break? And I'm yeah. like, wait a second. And then I had a dress on. I didn't have underwear on because they would have showed, they would have showed in the yeah. dress. Next thing you know, the shit is just like leaking. Running I'm like, like running to the bathroom, like, like getting tissues. Like what is going on with me? Cause I never squirted. So I didn't know. So is that what it is? Like Jay was so mad because like, he was like every girl I fuck, she squirts. And I'm like, First of all, yeah, I'm like, but I feel like we're squirting. But, you got to be in a mental. But state. I still don't like, even feel like I, honestly though, it's not like a. But even the squirting that doesn't come from orgasm. I don't yeah. know what that's coming from because I, I didn't like even orgasm when this happened to me. Your bladder. That's why I said. But it's like a release at the same yeah. time. It's not. That's why I say it is. Half and half. It's fucking it's half. Built and it it's, no, it's, half. Like it's built up shit. It is. It's fucking Built up shit. Yo. <laughs> hey. All right. All right. Yeah. Enough. Enough about sex life because this shit killing me. I have enough. Like, I've had enough. T.I. was charged by the SEC. Go to hell. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Did you want to scroll up to the first time? The, keep it going. Scroll? Yeah. <laughs> T.I. charged. All right. This is first topic. Uh, keeping up with the Kardashians. They cancel it um, after 20 seasons over four, 14 years of production. Um, I don't care about this. So I'm going to let the ladies. Um, like I said, I just want to shout out to Kim K, the whole Kardashian clan. No matter what you want to say to them, them bitches is getting you looking money. up some. Them bitches is getting shmoney. What uh, Jasmine I don't looking really up? Care. Huh? Oh, oh, oh well, y'all, Chris Jenner. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know why I was thinking of Caitlyn, but um, I thought they were gonna go till Kim turned into Chris Jenner. Like at that point, like, <laughs> seriously. Um, but shout out to them because honestly. That Legendary. show ran so long, and it's so much. It's what they built off it's of the show. what they built off Have of it. Have we ever the... seen anyone come Nobody. up on a reality like that? Nobody. Nobody. Like, that was genius. They paved the way. They paved the way. Like, all this, like, people don't, like, that's why I, me and Jazz was talking about it, just giving Kim Kardashian her flowers, because she's the start mogul of what the Instagram girls are today. So, even she's beyond that, even beyond Instagram girls, she literally is the first person ever to be her own I, brand without a talent without a talent that's a Literally. talent that's a talent like Marilyn Monroe and then Broken we hear about the them but it's like we hear about them but it's like almost like urban oh, legends but like we witnessed this, her we witnessed so, so fucking ain't a talent no, that, I don't okay, think she. So here's the thing: it. I don't even think it was the fucking because the sex tape was mediocre, and yeah. Ray J isn't Kim Kardashian. Yeah, so and he's shit. got Brandy as a sister. Okay. So I don't even think it's that as much as it is. Mm. They are their really likeness. Their likeness is serious, yeah. and we said this in a conversation a few days ago. Like, even though people, some people don't like them, we gotta admit, like they're basically the royal family of the United States. They There's are. nobody more famous than them. There's, There's nobody. nobody with more pull than them nobody. at all. I mean, come on, she's fucking getting niggas out of jail. Who's her sister, doing that? her sister's a billionaire. Kim K is doing that. All of her family is a millionaire now. Come on, that's like, the royal family. I, I gotta respect. So what them. I will say, out of respect, I didn't know the nigga. Um. Is it Chris Jenner? That's the that's Caitlin. that's Caitlin. the Caitlin. Caitlin. I didn't know that nigga was, was Bruce Jenner. Wheaties boxes and shit. He was yeah, no, he's, he's an Olympic. Yeah, he's an Olympic. He's an Olympic no, gold medalist. That like, he's a gold medalist. He's a legend. Yeah, he's a yeah. Legend. Like so, it's like her mom. We got to give the her she, mom knew she, what she was doing she because knew. her mom started with the lawyer, yes. which is Rob Kardashian. Yeah, then yeah. she got with. Bruce That's the Jenner nigga that got uh, OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so God yeah. Damn. Like, the mom, they, like the mom knew. The legend, bro. Like, talk about a bag. And we gotta the give, we gotta family. give the mom her flowers because nah. we don't know the sacrifices she made. Because if this nigga wanted to be a girl this whole time, he had been gay. Yeah, care what nobody sure. say. He, he remember for they sure. said he was taking hormones to get breasts way back in the day. So but she basically he, was like, she, I'm gonna ride this out because we gonna we gonna be good. Exactly, Not, so, and then you could come out and wear your little dresses and shit. It's yep. funny because I was talking to my sister about this topic. Actually, like we were talking about the greatest moments, and we kind of saw a lot over the span of fourteen seasons. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry, twenty seasons. Like we literally saw Lamar. I mean, we saw Kanye as a friend develop into yeah. the kids grow up. We saw shit. What's her name? I'm drawing. She became a billionaire. Now I can't even. Kylie. Kylie. We saw her as a kid, literally. As a baby, bro. And transcend Little girl. into becoming a billionaire. A so like billionaire, we, They bro. allowed us to step into their life. But let's talk about 
about it's legacy. He, yeah, they're gonna let's leave talk a, about legacy, yeah. bro. Their whole family is swimming. You get what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. a big deal. Like that's a big deal. Black, white, I don't give a fuck what you are. That's a big deal. Like, and they kept it in the family. And that, that I mean, that alone, like, that's admirable. Like, that's you a, can't knock that. Yeah. yeah, you can't knock. They're that the ever. marketing geniuses of our generation. They are. When it right. came to marketing, who nobody did it better than them. And I really would like to see how this is going to like. So I never really watched the Kardashians. I never, so ever no, seen I it. I did like like. So no, I did like beginning season the towards the end. I like, didn't from, see it until they right, got lit. Yeah. So I no, I used to watch it. Like it's they crazy. Had and I mean, I'm talking about order. back when. They was regular, but I was gonna say like, like I would, I would, I would love to see how their brands will hold up without it. But I think I that think they're that they'll good. be just fine. Yeah, because like, I didn't, like I said, point, I didn't watch yeah, it, so like, they, they obviously be just fine. Um, shout out to the fucking Kardashians. Yeah, shout out to them. The, they're on goat status. The Jenners, um, um well, all well, of them. We had Ti charged by SEC for rolling a fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme. We could, oh we got a couple that would. You want to scroll up a little bit? Oh yeah, with the NFL player, right? Yeah, with the the ex NFL player. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> coupled with this story, Josh Bellamy. Yep. So this is all together because niggas is out here getting it. A lot of niggas in LA right now getting it. Listen, I know people personally getting it. I know yeah. niggas personally, but not on that level. But but and you nah, know what? I, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I know mean, niggas oh, not, on 20, not on twenty-four million, million but, but like I mean, a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah seven hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? I was told that. With these loans, that they're, they're the IRS is not even auditing it, audit auditing anything under two million. Man, fuck the loans. I'm talking about these motherfucking Damn it. these uh unemployment cards, oh, these motherfucking uh, SBA loans. Oh my, bands. that's what I'm but saying. Say, yeah, the yeah, loans, under, under the PDP, the SBA. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's that. all getting they said they're the not IRS. auditing anything. So no, basically, understand. we got up into two, two mil. Yeah, yeah. So before you get and audited, and the, and the crazy. Thing but I, I don't. I wouldn't. I ain't lying. Yeah. That is I disclaimer. I'm not recommending that. Yeah, I don't fuck with the IRS either. The niggas is crazy because the problem, the real thing is, I think like billions of people is doing it. Like it's not. Like so, and it's I'm like the only how dumbass you that's not doing it. How you they cracked. Not, they cracked. The right they already cracked months ago when the unemployment first came out. They already cracked three hundred and fifty million dollars worth of fraud oh. in Maryland. Yes, alone of that's claims. One Niggas is doing a hundred. People were easy. claiming. I'm people were it. claiming dead people. Yeah, that's so the wild. thing with these. The thing with these loans, and not even just ten loans. Like you don't need your business doesn't have to be like. A business that's been yeah. going for years. You could no. say you started it today, today, Nigga, today, or right when COVID started, and you were projected to make today. All right, so let's 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 talk about. It. Let's go into it. So, um, we're going. Alex, where you want to go first? Ti, we we'll go Ti first. Josh, let's go. All right, so this schemes, one schemes schemes nah. Um, so when a settlement rapper agrees to seventy five thousand penalty, so this is what he agrees to after he got arrested. Um, and the settlement rapper agrees to seventy five thousand penalty. And to not participate in initial coin offering ventures for five years, um, the Securities and Exchange that. Commission announced Friday it has charged Ti for the for the rapper's role in a fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme. The SEC implicated five Atlanta area people, including Clifford Ti Harris for Cliff. promoting Cliff mm-hmm. Ti Harris for promoting. Is it Fleek? Am I Flick. Right? Flick. I think it's Fleek. Flick. 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 Yeah. Flick and CoinSpark, two unregistered and fraudulent two. Oh, come on, cut this shit. Two <laughs> unregistered and fraudulent initial coin offerings, uh, ICOs uh, led by film producer Ryan Felton in the summer of 2017. So I called somebody. Mm-hmm. What? No, go ahead. No, no. So I called somebody that like does um, crypto and all that. Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency, like, you know. Um, foreign exchange. Foreign exchange. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he was saying that he didn't understand because at first um, he was like, it got to be registered through some, yeah. somewhere. Mm-hmm. So I really don't know how, how to have that conversation because yeah. like, if it's not how registered, were they, yeah. Right, I, I, how were they even signing people up to, like, how was the, I'm trying to figure no, out. No, so the what they mean was. by registered, they don't mean like registering people. They mean like, you know, you can have a business, and if it's not registered, then you're not paying taxes on right, it. That's where right. the problem comes into into play. Mm. So it's like, so he all right, was doing this, it wasn't a registered business, so, and he's getting money off of it, right? And so there's no taxes being Google. paid on it. Exactly. So they was off their fire festival type shit. So no, like, no, because honestly, fire festival was an event. was an event that was falsely promoted, uh-huh. or they like Jaru promoted, said, it's not, flip. it's not. Uh, he said it's not fraud; it's just false advertising. <laughs> What's the difference? Whatever. So I think. I'm not honestly. I don't know too much about this, but based on what y'all have told me, I think it's a thing where 
T.I. was basically promoing yes. as an ambassador or something mm -hmm. and getting paid for that. So and he didn't ja know Rule. the yeah. details of the yeah. business. So the flip side, and he probably didn't know enough about it. But, so he but like ja it for the bread, right. But as T.I., you got to look into I mean, things more on. like you. You can't just put your name not on with it. That or vocabulary. not even you that. Like, you, facts, right. Or you got to put your money up for lawyers. Look yeah. Well, I'm sure that's what's next, yeah. but it's like I mean, if you get it hit sucks with because 000. now you gotta pay whatever you yeah. made promoting it anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, as an influencer, I promoted some things where I'm like, this shit look janky, janky. but I, I think, gotta get this check real quick. Uh, but don't y'all don't really buy this shit because uh -huh. I don't even think it's legit. I, ain't it like that. <laughs> I just right. think Ti is funny as shit though because like I think like last week he was promoting like not buying designer and we need to buy into like the community. And I don't like stuff. people who are hypocrites in, mm -hmm. in, in positions of power. Like I don't like someone who doesn't like practice what they preach. Now I'm not saying that you can't know better and mm -hmm. tell people to do better just because you're not doing it. But I feel like he almost creates this, this role as if he's doing it. So we yeah. should follow him doing it. But it's like, are you really like living like that? Yeah. I mean, a lot of times. A false though. prophet, right. maybe? I'm mean, like your daughter, hella designer, because she's always in a little Gucci, a little, you know what I'm saying? I see him. Yeah. So what are we talking about? The baby at that. Yeah. Okay. I feel like a lot of the yeah. stuff that he tells people to do is like, but why are you doing it then? And well, it's a trend. So the, um, Josh, what, Bellamy? Yep. <laughs> um... Y'all gonna make me read, read. Gonna... All right, I got it. Go ahead. I was gonna say. All right, so Josh Bellamy, 31 of St. Petersburg, Florida, who previously p played for the New York Jets, is has been accused of wire fraud, bank fraud, and conspiracy to commit wire and bank fraud. Mm. Bellamy was arrested Thursday and will appear before U.S. Magistrate Judge Christopher yeah. Sweet. Okay, we got it in Florida. Um, Bellamy is alleged to have obtained a PPP loan of more than $1.2 million for Jeez. his company, Drip, Drip Entertainment. Entertainment. Hey, you Damn. know what? That sounds like some shit I would name. Drip right. Entertainment LLC. Bellamy then allegedly used the money and purchased over $104,000 in luxury goods, including purchases at Dior, Gucci, Jewelers, etc. according so, to the DOJ. He's, uh, he's also alleged to have spent almost $62,000 in PPP loan proceeds at casinos, and had to with, have withdrawn over three hundred thousand right. dollars. So, Jazz, honestly, okay. I mean, what the fuck else you think we're gonna do? So here's the thing. Let's be real. So here's the thing. This is where, that. and this is where the government that. fucked up because, all right, you when the when it first came out, you had businesses like Ruth Chris and and yeah. Potbellies who were taking mm, yeah. out these major loans yeah. who didn't need them. Yeah. But when you have businesses like that, you know blurs the lines yeah. because they didn't they rushed to get these loans out yeah. so they didn't have time to like really um customize it yeah. to each type First, of yeah. business yeah, in yeah. person yeah. Yep. so it's like you got somebody like but me they, walking in there like, like well i'm a business yeah. no but facts, my business yeah. is only grossing a yeah. hundred thousand no dollars a year yeah. pop at least is grossing 20 million dollars a year yeah. but ain't nothing in here that it's says that, we yeah. can't yeah. get the same amount of yeah. money that's a fact so yeah. and then well with the tracking of the money being spent is where it gets sticky because the reason why this is so fucked up is because these PPP loans are forgiven. Yeah. So it's like if the loan is forgivable, you have to be able to prove where, where it was spent. spent. Mm -hmm. So that's stupid on his part. Yeah. However, how could they prove that the stuff he bought was not for Drip yeah. Entertainment LLC? It yeah. sounds I mean, like it was. Like shit, it sounds like it was. From Dior. Like yeah. it's Drip Entertainment. Right. I, I need jewelry. Like, right. So, like. so and, and I don't I mean, know how at they're going to. He like, actually kind of he kind of has a case. Now spending the money at the casino, that's a that's a little bit different. And you know, it's kind of one of those things too. Like you get all this money, it's uh we're in the oh, middle of Oh, but you know pandemic. what? I forget. PPP is for payroll. So that's probably the oh. issue. So what a lot of people mm -hmm. fail to realize is that you have to pay even if you're an independent you contractor, you yep. have to pay yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to literally send the money to yourself yep. before you can spend it. Yeah. All you have to do is send the money. And then go spin it that well, way. He yeah, yeah, sought PP loans on behalf of his family members and close associates. So he may have. No, so what he did was he used names of people that he was mm -hmm. cool with to have a, a yeah, to have mm -hmm. um workers, so yeah. employees. Yeah. So let me ask y'all this. Because this is kind of close to where we at. If, because I wasn't approved for the SBA loan part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we got a, if you got a loan for 100000 what you spending it on? Uh, so I spend my money that I make 
from my business on me because I'm uh, and, I'm independent. And, and, and I'm is self employed. You? It might so be. if I have a hundred thousand dollars, then maybe. But like, might need a bucket. The only <laughs> thing that I'll say is that I don't play with the IRS because yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter who you are. The IRS they'll Crack get you. Down. They're gonna yeah. get you. So they'll get you gang? one way or another. That's the, that's the most ruthless that's, gang yeah. in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah you don't. You don't. Pay you don't yeah, another. you you're gonna pay it back, and yeah. you're, just, you're either gonna pay it in yep. jail time or you're gonna pay yeah, it in in taxes. You ain't yeah in money. So I don't play with the IRS, but I know people who are ignorant to the IRS and the other issue with these loans is that everything's online. So it's like, yeah. you don't really have to show up to nobody's yeah. bank and get yeah. disapproved. Yeah. All right. So let me ask you this then. Um, I'm, we talking a year in jail versus 1.5 million. Well, they're going to seize all the money and the, and all the assets. Yeah. So they're it's like, freeze your account. So give it to somebody? at that point, you might nah, as well go hang out with a millionaire buddy and kick it for the day <laughs> and get your shine and go home. Right. Cause at that point, to sit in jail exactly. for a year yeah. for a month of stunning, I ain't yeah. taking it. And then you get it all taken away anyway. Yeah. You don't come back and I'm nothing. sure you got to pay even after, after that. Yeah, the interest, everything. Or, the or, fees, or, fees, or uh, restitution, yeah, all of that. It ain't worth it. It, it, it. You don't it fuck with the IRS. It's, a, it's, a, it's yeah. ain't a fun moment. This is real. <laughs> like, yeah. All right, yeah. let's go. Um, so wait, was he a retired football player or was he? He's an ex. He's an ex. Okay, player. I thought he was dropped after they found out he did. Yeah. Well, I thought he was dropped before. People don't understand that like these football players ain't making... Not all of no, them. No, exactly. he's probably be, not even making that. He's probably yeah, he getting got, the league yeah. minimum, probably. You gotta, a lot that's of people. why he like, you gotta, like that. He ain't got it. To bro. make that much money, believe it or not, you gotta be like somebody like important. Ray Lord, like like Ray Lord's like people that's franchise players because Odell Beckham. Uh, mm. And then you know, so with the <laughs> shitty Beckham, with the with, with the <laughs> NFL, it's money. so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all jokes aside, though, with the NFL, so tricky because the money's not even guaranteed. Not, so like, yeah. and then baseball. if you get dropped or if you get injured and you don't <laughs> yeah. have that much time, so yeah. it's like you're not yeah. really like job. I know people who thought that they made it big when they got to the NFL yeah. and they're yeah. working regular yep. jobs because yeah. yep. three hundred thousand dollars over Bye. the course of two years ain't yep. shit. Gone. And 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 that's Gone. what I'm saying. So like, what happens? Is I have these conversations with like a few of my friends that play ball or whatever. You're not making that guaranteed money unless. <laughs> no joke, Odell Beckham, mm -hmm. Ray Lewis, because yeah. these guys have Tom Brady, contributed. Like the greats, yeah. like it's, and it's really, the yeah. endorsements they get yes. too are so real. So like, if you're like, I always tell people like that I know that are coming up or that are going to the league or like my friends. Like I had a friend who was dating a guy and he got drafted in like the last round and I think he got like six hundred thousand for four years, and she quit her job, mm -hmm. and 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 I was like, are you crazy? No, no better. No I was like, are you insane? Then yeah, he got yeah. dropped the next year, yeah. so he didn't you know, even see all of that. The same thing too. And then, not even just that, they had a kid. Oh. So it's like, all right, realistically, right. six hundred thousand dollars over the course of four years it's is how not, much? Yes. You can't quit. I, you, you can't, can't quit, quit your, your job. job. What I will say though, you if you do the right, if you do the right thing, like my my friend was right, like he had a like a regular career, but he. He he did a lot of like immature shit, but at mm -hmm. the same time he did some smart shit. Like he bought his house. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you can mm -hmm. like and, and if you invest in So your, here's your the people, thing though. If they, you do the right thing, they, you can. No, you can. Oh, anytime yeah. you get money, you can, but here's yeah. the issue. Like, first of all, not everybody has the business savvy to do that. Right. Yeah. And then on top of that, like, I hate to say it, but like players who get cut often, they're usually traveling to different teams yeah. trying to get picked yep. up again. That's so fact, yep. you buy That's a house somewhere. Yeah. Now you don't live there live anymore. There. Yeah. You can't afford the new place where you're yep. living because the team you're playing That's in a, now, it costs way so, more to live there. Yeah. That's no. So yeah. what I was going to say is like my friend, like he, he was doing that, but he never bought a house anywhere else. He was always renting. So okay. Like, when we had a conversation, it was like, he actually shocked me because I didn't know that he was on it like that. But yeah. he was like, nah, I never, he's like, even the cars, he's like, nah, I never Rent bought it. none of that shit. Because yeah, because you don't need it. He knew, he was like, I knew better. So like he bought his, only thing he bought, his mom's a crib, mm -hmm. his self a crib in Baltimore. Well, not in Baltimore, but around yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, it's crazy because if you don't have the right people around you, yeah. mm -hmm. and like this guy that I know, mm -hmm. like his uncle, for a fact, like yeah. his uncle mm -hmm. and his mom just didn't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like these people were in his corner telling him, but it's like, if you don't have them people in your corner, then you, you would think, yeah. and then I got a meal. And you know, and you know, <laughs> you forget it's, it's too. Forever. You also got to pay your forever. agent a yep. percentage. Yep. Then you got to pay, um, yeah, yep, you gotta pay your lawyer. Yeah, lawyer. Like mm -hmm. the money, yeah, I forgot the most, unless the you're taxes. getting like a bonus, taxes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Once the money gets yeah. taxed, it's, honestly, it's you're not, you're not make you're not make, a you're make, not a millionaire. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Jazz, everybody, it's crazy because like Russ, right? And that's why I, I fuck with independent artists because independent artists understand. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to like the league and like anything outside of baseball, <laughs> like they don't understand. And it's almost like artists. 
like you gotta pay your you gotta pay your your uh, attorney. Yeah, right. you gotta agent. pay your, your agent, and like you gotta pay your taxes. Yeah, and after that, that's that's already like almost fifty percent. Then you get fined for bullshit yeah. along yeah. the way, and you gotta keep money for that. And the problem is though, like a lot of these artists, NFL player, all this, they're getting picked up so young, and a lot of them from rural areas that don't yep. really that's know better. Though. And see, that's, that's, that's the better. thing, and it's and, and they, they have they, no idea what money they is, like to they keep it. it like, but Whoa. the but the people at the top, they like yeah. that. They want to keep it yeah. that way because that's how they make their, their money. money. It's yep. a business. And I was just saying that the other day. I said a lot of the times. People don't understand, like, once you're playing at a professional level or you're yeah. making music at a professional level, it's not just about the art or the love of the, the sport. Like, you, it's so a business, important. too. And yeah, some people fact. just yep. aren't good at the business yep. part. Yep. Or that's you. even yep. sometimes people, I mean, their agent the whole time is robbing them right. or whoever's their right. accountant is that robbing them the and they don't even know it. Yep. Do you, happens all, do the you time. all remember the documentary Broke? Like, no, so basically, ESPN came out with a documentary about, like, athletes that, Within like five years after they retire, they're broke because you have to. It's not about and and the lesson that I'm learning young is it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much you can save. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know that mm -hmm. valuable not even lesson. Just that you need you residual invest, yeah. Yeah. income. Yeah. If you don't have residual yeah. income, you'll never be. You'll never good. Yeah, and you know, shit. like shout out to the people that's investing their friends, like Kevin Hart, right? Mm -hmm. Because what happens is like this creates residual income yeah. like a lot of people are like silent partners in yep. a lot of yep. their friends yep. businesses because yep. it's like i know yep. of course kevin hart ain't one of them because he's he's his career is crazy right now but right. he definitely set himself up to if that was to ever it happen happened. like he's things is <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he's right, 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 it's laid right, right, out right, right. like yeah. so like we definitely got to be smart yeah. in a culture and um i mean yeah. honestly it's sad too because like most athletes are like minorities and yep. You know, some of them, like, they take their money and you know what they do with it? They put it back into the street. Yep. And I don't mean in a good way. Yes. And it's yep. like, you be like, damn, why would that person um, be involved in that? It was, what was the one? It was, I yeah. forgot which basketball player it was. But remember, he got blood. caught with, like, a bunch of guns but and drugs. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, that didn't help a lot of people's careers, honestly. Like, even, like, I'm talking about, like, people that have legit businesses. Uh-huh. Like, I don't want to talk too much about it, but, like, Honestly, so, like, but here's the thing, though. In some instances, sad. but then in yeah, other instances, yeah, yeah. it's, it's gonna you're gonna be Josh Bellamy. You're right. You right. It's, yeah, you know what I mean. Over. But like yeah. to even be in the position to see that much money and have to even resort yeah. to something illegal, then there's a problem. It's a problem because it shows what we as a yeah, country, exactly. though. Yeah, it exactly. does. Honestly, because we're all poor. Yeah, because I mean, if you want to be technical, no matter what, be technical, even the government did it. We talking about that's what that's how they continue to the most snowfall and how they did a great job of showing this. Even a yeah. government yeah. did this. Yep. Because like, that's the only, honestly, that's the only way to keep it it's moving. A, yeah, like this drug, this and violence country, is the only thing that's this country it is ran off of economy. Yes. So that's why even now you see capitalism. Donald capitalism. Trump. Ca it's a only capitalist. Thing, it's a capitalism. Racism is classism, honestly. Yeah. Like, to be real. So even with like Donald Trump, Donald Trump's doing it too. Even when he gets on there and he manipulates the market, it's because it's no different than. A nigga get. I'm sorry. Let me say. Not even. I'm not even gonna say nigga in this instance. It's no different than a, a African American athlete who takes his money and puts it back into his homies in the streets and lets them buy drugs with it to flip it. Donald Trump in the market is the thing. same thing. Same his thing. he's he's yep. promoting people who they're his peoples. So it's like he wants their stock to boom because and that's called, day, called like, insider like, trading. Like, that's a crime too. It's yeah. just a white collar crime. crime. But at the end of the day, I hate to say it. Most people are getting their hands dirty. It's just what it is. Somebody once told me nobody gets ahead by playing it fair. Yeah. And I feel and, um, like I'm starting to see it more and more. Yeah, yeah. it's I, true. No, but Big Sean said it too. You ain't get money if you ain't for nothing. But Period. yeah, not facts. But Period. what I will say is because of a we we're going on this. What I will say is if you fight hard enough, you can play you can you can be honest. And, and do it the right way. It's just gonna take longer. It'll just take longer. It's just gonna take longer. Nah, it's just gonna take longer. It's gonna take longer. Take longer. It's gonna take longer. And you gotta be more patient. But you can be real. Mm. Play the real. You can, you can be real and, and work do it. Besides, do like it you said, right it's way. like you said, right. sitting you in jail for a year. Like sometimes you also gotta think about like, yeah. is it worth it? Well, yeah, map it out. How much do you? Don't get greedy. You know, it's don't get greedy because people can see money and they all they see is the and it's like you didn't even think. Yep. The Don't get greedy into like, emotionally. Yep. Yep. Hey, um. Shout out to the gang. Yeah, we did. Gemini it. Scorpio podcast. We ended perfectly for Jazz and her hosting. Thank you. I got to go. And the, the big 4 0. Then Sade. 
bad. Me and the baddies. Hey, hey, me and the baddies. Me and the baddies. Pull good, up. Good girl. And a, what the fuck? Amen. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 40. We love y'all. Hey, 10 weeks. Um, We're going to do this because Jasmine ain't going to allow us not to. So we're going to do this. <laughs> um, uh, We're going to do. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, you... Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to you. It's going to be the week of November the 22nd. Yes. Okay. We don't know when, but expect the um, Live 50th. Live 50th anniversary. Bang, bang, bang. It's lit. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. the week of Thanksgiving? I'm going to say it's Ain't lit. that Thanksgiving week? Isn't 50 hey, close to yeah. a year or two, though? Okay, it's when we lit. started? Because everybody's going to be off right? the exactly. next day. 52 a year. Yeah. Right, yeah. 52 is one year. Yep. Yo, shout out. Again, shout out to the gang. Um, Yo. Thank y'all, man. For real. Thank yeah. you, babe. Gang, gang. Thank you, thank you, friend. Thank you. <laughs> she's, she's I play, love our co-host, she, she just bro. plays you, bro. She plays you, I love you, our co-host. She plays what you. What the fuck? Like, That's my we, dog. It's the singles and the Yeah. Because there's some nigga in her, in her comments like, I wish I could be next to her. Like, why? It won't be no friend. <laughs> the creeps. Back, back. Shout out to the creeps. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all keep it. Nah, nah. Let me tell you. Nah, shout out to the creeps. Creeps repost. All right? Repost. Just keep reposting. No, let me tell you. You got a boyfriend that really go hard. It's not your boyfriend. That dude's crazy. I had to restrict him because that listen. Nigga lit. Fuck no, out of here. No, when we he, posted our video, my mother. You. No, my mother. He's crazy. My mother. This is when I had to restrict him. My mother commented and was like, "Baddies" or something, and he was like, oh, "Terrible mom." <laughs> oh shit! Block. Oh motherfucker, Yo, let you gotta go. Let me tell you something about Jasmine's followers. Jasmine got the. I've never seen. I that. track crazy people, bro. She has really crazy people. Like, but they they're loyal my, though. They be in my DMs like. Can you tell Miss Jasmine to get her DM right now because I don't care. She needs to talk to me. And um, do you know that the people are asking me for money that's faking like her page? It's do like you if know, you like, know that, then leave it alone. But you know what's crazy? I'm they, not gonna lie to you. Like, Recently, you, as of late, one of my pictures, like, people have been weeks like you know you and Miss Jasmine. <laughs> people have are been gonna have a fun time. Tomorrow. It's like, are you gonna be there? Right. You fucking no, I'm creep. not gonna lie to y'all. People have now begun DMing me with my picture. I'm but like, Sh- I know what I look like. But you Sh- can't scare me. me. But, but right. Sh- ain't mad at me when I get mad at whatever. Yeah. Episode mad at what? 40. All right, we got to go. I got to host <laughs> this Episode party. 40. Jim Love y'all. Podcast. We out. It's a wrap. We out. We out.